uh, getting real close. So the final segment of the program. Now starting off a, with a powerful finish to this year's Canada Sales Congress is Robert J. Crowder, CLU, GBA, president of the Benefits Trust in Toronto. The Benefits Trust is a full-service third-party employee benefits administration company founded over 20 years ago. Robert has an unconventional approach to com uncommon success, hard work, and discipline. Today, he'll give you a peek into his business. He'll explain his no compromises approach to activity in the group benefits market to achieve outstanding results in a very competitive marketplace. Rob will explain what he does every day and every month to drive his success. He has systems, accountabilities, and processes that have made him the success that he is and his firm is today. Please help me welcome Mr. Rob Crowder. Robert. Thanks, Jim. Good afternoon, we're in the home stretch. Good news. Here we go, April 8th, 7.30 a.m. I'm getting on to the 400 at Highway 9 in Newmarket, just where I live. Heading south on the 400, listening to the news at 7.30 in the morning. The number one news story that day, the 400 southbound lane to the eastbound 401 is under construction and it's down to one lane and will be for the next nine months. That's the number one news story that day because it wasn't a traffic report, it's a news story. And I'm sitting there going, oh man, that sucks. My office is about five kilometers away from that intersection. And then the newscast or the news reporter went on to say, this is one of the busiest intersections in North America. And then I said to myself, fantastic. My office is five kilometers away from one of the busiest intersections, not in Canada, in North America. Think of all the prospects. This is outstanding. I was so excited that day. Oh, by the way, PPI, thank you very much for lunch, and I'm wearing my PPI socks. There we go. One thing that I want to talk about, oh, there we go, is know your target market. Target market is critical, especially when we're talking about group insurance. I don't sell life insurance. I know we've had a lot of discussions about life insurance and investments and so on. I don't deal with individuals. I deal with companies. I deal with individuals in companies, but I sell corporate insurance products. More importantly, corporate group insurance products. Anything that needs underwriting, I don't do. So let's be clear about that. Know your target market. My target market at the Benefits Trust, or our target market at the Benefits Trust, is successful business owners with between one and 101 employees. Successful business owners with one to 101 employees. That is specifically what our target market is. In the 416-905 area code, not long distance from where we are right now, there are 50,000 businesses in that target market. Why do we want to deal in this target market? There's 50,000 businesses. First of all, I don't want to deal in that target market. I want to deal with the successful businesses in that target market. Let's just assume for a moment that those successful businesses, 20% of them are really successful. That's 10,000 prospects. I want to deal in this target market for a number of reasons. We've got 1,000 clients in this particular target market. I'm comfortable in it. I speak the language. We understand what their problems are. We understand what their problems are as business owners. We're viewed as an expert. We've been dealing in this particular target market for the last 20 years, 21 years. We're viewed as an expert in this target market. We're comfortable. And as Jim Burton said at lunch, confidence. Confidence shines, not arrogance, confidence. Confidence shines when you're dealing in this particular target market or when you're dealing in your target market, whatever your target market is. So when you know your target market, you can understand what the client's problems are, you're viewed as an expert and your confidence will shine. You're gonna have a lot of success when you're dealing in your own target market. The other thing, the other reason why I like to deal with successful business owners with between one and 101 employees is generally speaking, you're dealing with the decision maker. You can get to yes or no very quickly. If anybody sold group insurance here, and I know many of you have, how, many, how much time have you wasted to get all the way to the end where you asked them to buy and they say, ah, oh, yeah, I want to deal with my uh, sister-in-law or I got to check with my boss or whatever the circumstances are. Generally speaking, you're dealing with the business owner, the decision maker, and you can get it to yes or no very quickly. So know your target market, understand their problems, and your viewed as an expert in that target market. The other thing is I, I like to say is 
Successful business owners, successful entrepreneurs like to do a couple of things. Successful business owners like to buy value. Many of you here are successful business owners. You like to buy value. I don't think anybody in this room likes to buy crap. They like to buy value. Successful business owners like to spend money. Again, all of you in this room that are successful business owners, you don't mind spending money. Guess what? You can buy cheaper suits. You can buy cheaper shoes. You can buy cheaper cars. You like spending money on things. You like spending money on value. And successful business owners like to be sold, and they like to be sold with passion. Because they are successful because they are selling their widgets with passion. If you sell them with passion, they like to be sold with passion. They like to see that. This is why I like dealing in this marketplace. There are 10,000 prospects. They like to buy value, they like to spend money, and they like to be sold with passion. So ask yourself, what's your target market? Over the years, that target market has gotten tighter and tighter and tighter, but I'm certainly very comfortable with that now. Moving right along, tell your prospect what you do. I'm in this target market, tell them what you do. I've met more people in the insurance industry in the last 26 years. I've been a licensed life insurance agent for 26 years. I've owned the Benefits Trust for 21 years. Tell your prospect what you do. Tell them what you do in one sentence. That's what I like to say. Tell them what you do in one sentence. How many times do you meet somebody at a cocktail party or a barbecue or, a, or uh, on an airplane, and you say, hey, what do you do? And you ask them, and they go, oh, I, uh, I'm the senior vice president of uh, economic development uh, for the West End of uh, Vancouver, uh, and I'm a part-time Uber driver. You go, what? <laughs> you've got no idea what they do, and you ask them again, and then they, they tell you, and you've got no idea what they do, and you go, oh, that's great. Hey, geez, I wonder what movie's on this flight, right? Tell them what you do so they understand it. Tell them what you do in one sentence. So I've been thinking about this, and when we were developing our sentence, I was thinking, what is selling? What is selling? I sell group insurance. What is it? Selling is engaging someone in a future result that's good for them. Selling, in my opinion, and since I'm up here with the microphone, it's my opinion, selling is engaging someone in a future result that's good for them. We started off with 1,000 people. There's 700 of you left. Thank you very much for sticking around. Greatly appreciate it. Guess what? There's 700 people in this room that all have a future result that's different. Selling is engaging someone in that future result that's good for them. So what do you do? If I ask anybody a question, what is it that you do for a living? Can you answer it while you're engaging them in a future result that's good for them? I look at this. Someone asks me, what do I do? I say, we help successful business owners build a better benefit plan than they can get anywhere else. It's got to be able to roll off your tongue. You're at a party. What do you do, Rob? We help successful business owners build a better benefit plan than they can get anywhere else. Terrific. How do you do that? Well, we're engaged in a conversation. I traveled to Whistler skiing often. This year, I was out there four times throughout the winter season. Spending a lot of time on the airplane beside someone in very, very tight quarters. What do you do? We help successful business owners build a better benefit plan than they can get anywhere else. You're engaged in a conversation. If that person's a business owner, you're engaged in a conversation about their future. Geez, how do you do that? Not, hey, I'm the uh, senior vice president of economic development for the Western uh, world of uh, Vancouver, and I'm a part-time Uber driver. And they go, great, soup, not happening. So let's break down the sentence. We help successful business owners. First of all, okay, great, there's two types of businesses in the world. Successful businesses and, and other people's prospects. Right? We want to deal with the successful business owners because they can write checks. Successful business owners can write checks. So we help successful business owners. Great, so, oh, good, I'm, I'm successful. I'm listening. Build, what does build mean? If I'm going to build something, Roger, if I'm going to build you a deck in your backyard, First of all, it's not going to look that good, but it's about a customized solution that you want. Build is about customize, customizing. I'm going to build something specifically for somebody. It's about a future result that's good for them. Build, custom. Better. Mr. Prospect, I have something that's better. Oh, OK, better. Geez, I want to learn about that. That's engaging. 
than they can get anywhere else. Well, I got to find out about this. This is exclusive. Guess what? How many people here are members of private clubs? You know, I'm a member of a private club. I'm a member of a ski club. It's terrific. Yeah, I'm a member of a ski club. Dynamite. It's exclusive. Right? Sorry, you can't come into our lounge. This is the members' lounge. It's exclusive. Right? It's no different. <laughs> right? But you build, we, we, help successful business, we help successful business owners build a better benefit plan than they can get anywhere else. It's custom. It's engaging. It's exclusive. Right? What is it that you say when someone says, what do you do? Jamie's answer this morning, Jamie Bongard's answer this morning was terrific. I sell life insurance. Terrific. It's pretty black and white. We help successful business owners build a better benefit plan than they can get anywhere else. Let me tell you a quick story. Met a client, this was in the, uh, towards the beginning of April. Met this particular prospect. All I knew about him is a 15, or sorry, they have a 15 employee company and it was an administration company. I couldn't find anything about them on the internet and it was just a three letter company. You know, it was MNO Limited. And it was this three-letter company. I couldn't find anything about them on the internet. I go, hey, I'm going to go and talk to these guys. Met with a particular client, sat down after the usual pleasantries. I said, hey, great. We help successful business owners build a better benefit plan than they can get anywhere else. Tell me about your future path to success. What's going to happen in the next three years? We engaged in a conversation about the future. About 15 minutes into that conversation, he ended the meeting. And he said, you know, you're a little bit different than everybody else, and we're having a terrific conversation, but I want you to come back in a couple of weeks when my two brother-in-laws are here, because it's the three of us that own this business, and we want to have this conversation together. So I said, terrific. Ended, off we went, followed up. A few weeks later, back to see these guys. Sitting down with the three brothers, or the two brothers and the one brother-in-law at this point. And I started up the meeting again, saying thanks for you know, the usual pleasantries, thanks for having me back. We help successful business owners build a better benefit plan than they can get anywhere else. Tell me about your future plan to success. What's going to happen in the next three years for you guys to be successful? And they went on and on and on. And we had a great discussion, not about benefits necessarily, but about the future of their business and how benefits are a part of that and what we can do to help them with that. And this was a great meeting. And I've had lots of great meetings over the last number of years. I didn't think that much about it. I'm just sitting there in my mind going, hey, this is going really well, and I think it's, this looks like a good prospect, and they've got 15 employees, and this is terrific. Then I ended the meeting. But when I was leaving, I sort of had a little bit of an odd feeling about it, because I didn't quite understand some of the answers to their questions. They were a bit vague. They were just a bit vague on some of the answers. But anyways, I, I, I left the meeting and I said, you know, thank you very much. And the one guy that I originally met with said, uh, you know, really quickly, give me your cell number. And I go, hey, these guys are going to make a decision quickly, dynamite. Fifteen minutes later, I get a call in my car. I'm on my way back to the office. And he goes, hey, we want to do business with you. And I said, terrific. And he goes, but on one condition. You've got to know something about our business. We own 47 businesses, or sorry, 46 businesses all with between 10 and 15 employees. And we want you to deal with all of them. So this was a one and a half, as I call it, one and a half meeting sale, 600 lives, $1.8 million in premium. Not a single piece of paper changed hands. Right? Because why? We were talking about the future. Focus on getting the meeting. It's simple. You know, we were, uh, some of the speakers this morning were talking about the Grantham, the Grantham uh, uh, program. I started off as a Great West Life life insurance agent 26 years ago, 27 years ago this August, and my training was get 10 appointments a week. Once you get your 10 appointments a week, the manager said, I'll come out on a few of them with you, and then you just got to keep on getting 10 appointments a week. Get 10 appointments a week. Three on Wednesday, three on, sorry, three on Tuesday, three on Wednesday, three on Thursday. Slip one else, slip one other meeting in there in the middle. 10 appointments a week. That was it. Then you will be successful. How do you do this? Oh my gosh, how do you get three appointments, or three appointments a day, 10 appointments a week? How do you do this? Simple, you ask. 26 years ago, 27 years ago when I started, I used to use the Dun & Bradstreet book and I used to send out letters and I would follow up and it would be 50 calls a day, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We all know we've all been there. Today we do things a little bit different. 
We network, we speak at meetings, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, which is not up there. We blog, oh, speaking of blogs, we send out, this is great, this is fabulous. We send out a blog a month, if not more than that, but we send out at least one blog a month. We track, or more specifically, our marketing company tracks how many opens there are for that blog. So you send out a blog about travel insurance. How many people opened it? We're sending out many thousand of these blogs. How many people are opening it? How many people are looking at it? And we're tracking this. A couple of weeks ago, we sent out a blog on medical marijuana. Eight times the number of people opened that blog and read it. Eight times the number of people than normal. So a great prospecting question. Mr. Prospect, if I can show you a way to pay for your marijuana in a tax-effective manner, would that be of interest to you? Terrific. Next Tuesday at 10 o'clock. Dynamite. Network, speak at meetings, Facebook. First class mail, phone and ask, webinar. One of the things that we've done differently than many folks is we send out a Canada Day letter. Some of you may get it. We send out a Canada Day letter. The Canada Day letter just says, hey, it's fabulous to be working and successful in Canada. Isn't this the greatest country in the world? And we're happy to be a part of it. Happy Canada Day. Very subtle message. Little gift. Guess what? We get more response from that Canada Day mail than anything that we do. We get more response from that. How many dozens of Christmas cards we get that you can't even read the writing because it's just scribbled because they know that the person, I know that the person has signed 500 of these things. Impact zero. Canada Day letter, impact magnificent. Be active in a community or a club. As I mentioned, I'm a member of the Muskoka Ski Club or I'm a member of the Ski Club. I'm a member of the Muskoka Ski Club. I'm active in the Ontario uh, uh, ski community. I'm also active in my son's school. Be active in a community. Do charity work. Have parties. How many people do you know that just don't entertain? How are you going to meet anybody if you never have anybody over? If you don't enter, want to entertain at home, entertain somewhere else. Let's have a dinner party where you have the same four people over for dinner, but they all have to bring someone that no one else knows. Oh, geez, that'll be uncomfortable. No, it'll be fun. Let's meet some new people. Get out and be, have parties. Be published. Be published in magazines, be published in articles, be published in, in, in be quoted in, in the newspaper. Be in business. These are all the things you have to do. We do all of these 15 or 16 or 20 things. Guess what? Five of them work. I just have no idea which five. So I do them all, right? Be in business. People that are in business do business with people that are in business. Be in business, show up, and do all of these wonderful things. The other thing, and the last point I want to make on this, is ask for a 10-minute meeting. Successful business owners aren't necessarily that busy, believe it or not. They've always got time, but it's easy to get a 10-minute meeting. Jim, if we could meet over the next couple of weeks for just 10 minutes to discuss an idea that's helped 1,000 different business owners, would that be of interest to you? I'll bring the coffee, Jim. Thursday morning at 10 a.m., terrific. 10 minutes. Pull out your iPhone, put it down, press start. Jim, I promised you 10 minutes. Thank you very much. I'm respectful of your time. We help successful business owners build a better benefit plan than they can get anywhere else. Wonderful. Tell me about your future. You've engaged them in a conversation. When the 10 minutes is up, thank you very much, Jim, for your 10 minutes. I asked you for 10 minutes. I'm keeping to that. If you want me to continue, I will, but it's based on your invitation. If you want to end this meeting now, thank you very much. I've invested 10 minutes of my time plus driving, and guess what? The party's over. I got 9,999 other prospects to go and see. Thank you very much. Dynamite. Ask for the 10 minute meeting. Know what your target market is. Know what to say. Know what to ask. And then, as uh, one of the speakers, I think it was Jamie Bongard, said this morning, shut up and listen. The most important thing. You've only got 10 minutes. Let them speak for nine of those 10 minutes. Make it all about their future. You want to sell benefits? Don't talk about, hey, let me show you a way to save some money and uh, let me shop the market. Boring. Let's make it about them. Make it about their future. And uh, my number, not yours, my number, do it 300 times a year. For the last 25 years, I've had 25, or sorry, 300 meetings a year. 10 meetings a week, 30 weeks a year. Whenever I'm frustrated, I look at myself and I go, I don't have enough meetings booked. That's all that's going on. I just don't have enough meetings booked. I got to go book some more meetings, right? That's the key to my success. And 
I want to take this opportunity to say thank you very much. It's been an honor and a pleasure to speak to you, and I'm one minute over. Thanks so much. Thanks, Jim. Excellent energy, terrific, um, great stuff. Uh, and we'll talk more about Rob's stuff in a minute uh, when I get a chance to uh, just review the whole thing, lessons from the masters at the very end. Now, let's go to uh, Rob. So anyway, thank you, Rob. Thanks for taking the time. We appreciate it. Let's give one more round of applause for Rob. Rob Crowder.